This week on D3 Live, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo 3DS release in Japan, a possible new screen for the iPhone 5, and Apple's release of the developer copy of OS X Lion. Yesterday in Japan, the Nintendo 3DS was officially released. Now, before this was released, there have been a lot of people questioning, you know, like, oh, the 3D is going to give you headaches, uh, it's going to be too chunky, battery life, this, that, this, that. But overall, a lot of the first impressions are very good. Uh, one of the biggest topics, of course, the 3D screen has not been as big of an issue as a lot of people thought. Uh, so the 3D effects almost across the board people have been really impressed with. Of course, if you're not familiar, the 3DS is one of the first devices shipping with a glasses-free glasses-free 3D display, which allows you to f view full 3D content, games, as well as movies and pictures at a later date, um, all on the display. Uh, in general, people have been really impressed with it. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, and if, well, I'm sure that there are always going to be some improvements, but it seems to be working really quite nicely. And with the slider, you can actually adjust it, so it's getting a little too intense for you. If it's a little too 3D, you can always turn that down. Uh, some other things about the console as well as far as you know the durability and all that kind of stuff also seem to be doing really quite nicely. People have really been enjoying the 3DS. Uh, of course the 3DS, while it launched last yesterday in Japan, it will be available around the rest of the world come late March. A possible new part for the iPhone 5 has been found on a Chinese reseller's website. The new part shows that the iPhone 5 should be getting a much larger display. Indeed, it looks very close to be an edge-to-edge -edge glass. Now this is something that people have been talking about for quite a while. In fact, I have really wished that you know Apple would increase the size of the display while not increasing the size of the device. Uh, so while there are no specifics as far as the exact size of the display, for the most part it looks like it's probably a 3.7 inch, probably a 4.0 inch display. Uh, now this will be really nice as, like I said, you get the full size of the nice display. Uh, there's no real issues in my opinion with the 3.5 inch that's on the current iPhone and iPod Touch. It's a nice size, but a lot of the other Android phones and a variety of you know the big competitors are really amping it up, you know, getting 4 inch, 4.3, 4.5 inch displays. So I think this makes a lot of sense if Apple can make this display bigger with actually making the phone bigger. Earlier this week, Apple announced some brand new MacBook Pros alongside the developer preview for Mac OS X Lion. Now OS 10.7 Lion is going to be the next generation of Mac operating system and it looks like it's got some really nice improvements. So probably the biggest thing that you'll find is that there is a lot of iOS in Lion. For example, there is a new launchpad feature that allows you to scroll through your various applications just like on iOS. Indeed, there are even folders. On top of that, you also have some new kinetic scrolling, which is a, I'm a big fan of. Of course, if you're not familiar with kinetic scrolling, on the iPhone, and iPod Touch, and iPad, when you scroll to the bottom of the page, it kind of bounces a little bit, depending on how fast or slow you scroll. And this is actually going to be implemented into OS X Lion. I know there are also various other UI improvements, and etc, etc. However, Lion is definitely looking going to be really solid. Now, if you're interested, you can get at the developer preview right now. Uh, you do have to pay about $100 to get at the developer preview. Um, however, that does include that you will get a free copy of Lion once it comes out. Otherwise, for the rest of us, we will probably be waiting until a little bit later in the year to get the full version of Lion. As always, with the second half of D3 Live, I'm going to be taking live questions. So all episodes of D3 Live are filmed in front of a live audience. We've got well over 50 people in the room right now, so let's just go ahead and take a couple of questions. Okay, uh, do I think the iPhone 5 will have a 6 megapixel camera? Uh, as far as that, I'm not really entirely sure. Uh, the current camera on the iPhone 4 is really pretty good, and it's only 5 megapixels. Um, you know, a lot of other cameras do have like you know 8 megapixel, even like 10 megapixel cameras. However, something that you know I've always tried to say is megapixels aren't everything. Um, just because you got a lot high megapixel count does not necessarily mean all that much. The pictures can still look really bad. I mean, for example, you know, like some 3 megapixel cameras look even better than, you know, 8 megapixel cameras. So, um, as far as what it's going to be, I have no idea. If I would guess it would probably be either 5 or maybe a bump to 8, uh, but we'll just have to see about that. Uh, Duncan is cool asks, will the Nintendo 3DS have a retina display? Uh, no, it won't. Uh, the 3DS is going to just have a, a I don't actually remember the uh, resolution, but it's not a really super high resolution display. The major thing about the 3DS is that it's a 3D display, and which means is that actually there are double the pixels that you can actually see. One, uh, one set of pixels for your left eye, one for your right eye. It's kind of complicated, and again, I don't, I don't even pretend to understand it fully, but uh, you know, it's not going to be technically a retina display, but it should be look a decent bit nicer than the current DS. Um, how much will a 3DS game cost? Uh, 3DS games will be about a little bit more expensive than the current DS. So in the United States, they typically seem to be going for about forty dollars. 
Um, usually, you know, the, the DS games were going from anywhere from 30 to 35, so it's not a huge dump. Um, of course, though, if you're looking for something like on the iPhone or the iPod Touch where you're getting, you know, like $10 or the max, you're definitely going to have to pay more than that. So, yeah, most games seem like they're going to be around the $40 mark, uh, and we'll just kind of see how that goes as time goes on. Um, do I think the iPhone 5 will be jailbroken within a few months? Typically, that's what happens, yeah. Uh, of course, you know, every every device is newer, uh, you know, like, for example, when the iPod Touch second generation came out, that took forever to jailbreak. On the other hand, when the iPad came out, it was jailbroken that night. So, it really is just a crapshoot, depends on what the dev team has, what Apple's fixed, and all that kind of stuff. But I would definitely guess, with if you give a, a, with like a two or three month time frame, the iPhone 5 will definitely be jailbroken between then. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's episode of D3 Live. If you're interested in seeing more, feel free to subscribe. I do this every Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. You can come watch me uh, live on Blog TV, or, of course, you can watch the pre-recorded episodes on YouTube. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.